Uh, we've also, you know, uh, started putting our fifth generation of our driver, our hardware uh, uh, that is on the new vehicle, but it's also a qualitatively different set of uh, self-driving hardware uh, that's uh, that uh, is now on the JLR pace. So that was a very important step for us. The hardware specs, fifth generation. I think it'd be fun to maybe, uh, I apologize if I'm interrupting, but uh, maybe talk about maybe the generations with a focus on what we're talking about in the fifth generation in terms of hardware specs, like what's on this car? Sure. So we separated out, you know, the actual car that we are driving from the self-driving hardware we put on it. Um, right now we have, so this is, as I mentioned, the fifth generation. You know, we've gone uh, through, we, we started, you know, building our own hardware, you know, many, many years ago. And uh, that, you know, Firefly vehicle uh, also had the hardware suite that was mostly, you know, designed, engineered, and built in-house. Uh, LiDARs are of one of the uh, more important uh, components that we design and build from the ground up. Uh, so on the fifth generation uh, of our uh, drivers uh, of our uh, self-driving hardware that we're uh, switching to right now, uh, we have, uh, as with previous generations, in terms of sensing, we have LiDARs, cameras, and radars. And we have a pretty beefy computer that processes all that information and makes you know, decisions in real time on, on board the car. Uh, so in all of the, and it, it's really a qualitative uh, jump forward in terms of the capabilities and you know, the various parameters and the specs of the hardware compared to what we had before and you know, compared to what you can kind of get off the, off the shelf in the market today. Meaning uh, from fifth to fourth or from fifth to first? Definitely from uh, first to fifth, but also from the that was fourth. the from, world's uh, dumbest uh, question. Okay. Definitely, <laughs> no, uh, definitely from fourth to fifth. Okay, uh, gotcha. as well as uh, uh, this, the, the, that last step is a, is a big step forward. Yeah. So everything's in house. So the, like lidar is built in house, and right. and cameras are built in house. I, you know, or it's that's... different. You know, we work with partners. And there's some yeah. components uh, that you know we you know get from our manufacturing and you know supply chain partners. Uh, what exactly is in house is a bit different. If you like, we we do a lot of you know custom uh, design on all uh, yeah. of our sensing modalities, lidars, radars, cameras. You know exactly. There's uh, lidars are. Yeah, almost you know, exclusively uh, in-house, and some of the technologies that we have, some of the fundamental technologies there, are completely unique uh, to Waymo. Uh, that is also largely true about radars and cameras. It's a little bit more of a, uh, a mix where, in terms of what we do ourselves versus what we get from uh, partners. Is there something uh, super sexy about the computer that you can mention that's not top secret, like uh, <laughs> for, <laughs> for people who enjoy computers? For I mean, uh, so you, there's there's a lot of uh, machine learning involved, but there's a lot of just basic compute. There's you have to uh, probably do a lot of signal processing on all the different sensors. You have to integrate everything. It has to be in real time. There's probably some kind of redundancy type of situation. Is there something interesting you can say about the computer for the people who love hardware? It does have all of the characteristics, all the properties that you just mentioned. Uh, redundancy. Uh, very beefy compute uh, for general processing as well as you know inference and ML models. It is some of the more sensitive stuff that you know I don't want to get into for IP reasons, but yeah, you know, it can we, we've shared a little bit uh, in terms of the specs of the sensors uh, that we have on the car. You know, we actually shared you know some videos of uh, what our lighter sees uh lighters see in the world mm -hmm. uh, we have 29 cameras we have you know, five lighters we have six radars uh, on these vehicles and you can kind of get a feel for the amount of data that they're producing that all has to be processed in real time uh to you know do perception to do complex reasoning so it kind of gives you some idea of how beefy those computers are but i don't want to get into specifics of exactly how we build them okay well let me try some more questions that you can't get into the specifics of like gpu wise is that something you can get into you know i know that google works that with gpus and so on i mean for machine learning folks it's kind of interesting or is there no how do I ask it? Uh, I've been talking to people in the government about UFOs and they don't answer any questions. So this is this is how I feel right now asking about GPUs. <laughs> <laughs> but is there something interesting that you could reveal or is it just, you know, uh, 
or would leave it up to our imagination some of the, some of the compute is there any i guess is there any fun trickery like i, I talked to uh, chris latner for a second time and he was a key person about tpus and there's a lot of fun stuff going on in google in terms of uh hardware that, that optimizes for machine learning. Is there something you can reveal in terms of how much, you mentioned customization, how much customization there is for hardware for machine learning purposes? I'm going to be like that government, you know, you like a uh, <laughs> person in body of foes. Uh, okay. But I, I, you know, I, I, I guess I you know, will say that it, it, it's, it's really, compute is really important. Uh, we have very data hungry and compute hungry ML models kind of all over uh, our stack. And this is where, you know, both being you know, part of Alphabet as well as designing our own sensors and the entire hardware suite together, where on you know, one hand you get access to like really rich uh, raw sensor data that you can pipe from your sensors uh, 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 into your compute platform yeah, and build like build the whole pipe you know, from sensor raw sensor data to the big compute as then have the massive compute to process all that data. Uh, this is where we're finding that uh, having a lot of control of that that hardware part of the stack is really advantageous. One of the fascinating magical places to me, again, might not be able to speak to the details, but is the it is the other compute, which is like you know this. We're just talking about a single car, but the you know the driving experience is a source of a lot of fascinating data, and you have a huge amount of data coming in on the car on the car, and you know, the infrastructure of storing some of that data to then train or, or to analyze or so on, that's a fascinating like piece of it that that I understand a single car, I don't understand how you pull it all together in a nice way. Is that something that you could speak to in terms of the challenges of, um, of seeing the network of cars and then bringing the data back and analyzing things that want, that like, like edge cases of driving, be able to learn on them to improve the system, to to see where things went wrong, where th where things went right, and analyze all that kind of stuff. Is there something interesting there, in the from an engineering perspective? Oh, there's an incredible uh, amount of really interesting work that's happening there, um, both in the you know the real time operation of the fleet of cars and the information that they exchange with each other uh, in real time. Uh, to you know, make you know better decisions, as well uh, as on the kind of the offboard component, where you have to deal with massive amounts of data for you know, training your ML models, evaluating the ML models, uh, for you know simulating the entire system, and for you know evaluating your entire system. And this is where you know, being part of uh, Alphabet has been, once again been tremendously uh, advantageous. We consume an incredible amount of you know compute for ML infrastructure. Uh, we build a lot of custom Custom frameworks to you know get good at you know, uh, you know on data mining, uh, finding the interesting edge cases for training and for evaluation of the system, uh, for uh, both training and evaluating some components and you know sub uh, parts of the system and various ML models, as well as the uh, evaluating the entire system and simulation. 